Hi friends, so how to prepare for an MPPS theory exam? Yeah, the final year MPPS, the big, the big question, how to prepare for the theory exam? That too in an available short period of time. So that's a million dollar question actually. So hereby we will share you some of those important tips and tricks which we found it useful for some of my friends including even myself. So there is a saying that a good student is one who answers and some examiner's questions. Yeah, a good student answers examiner's all questions, of course. But a clever student anticipates the examiner's questions. So how can you anticipate an examiner's questions? So this part mostly applicable to the practical exam session, but still in theory, to present your answer neatly and crisply, you need to stand in the shoes of the examiner. You have to imagine yourself as an examiner, how to present your answer neatly. Of course, you need to have some amount of knowledge that we can provide you through our upcoming sessions of topic wise discussions. But how to present it neatly, I will discuss today. Now, your exam answer paper, your each answer should be structured. So, it should have a framework, right? So, the framework can be divided into three headings. Number one, each answer should have some subheadings. So, subheadings forms the first part subheadings yeah so what all subheadings you have to add that depends on the topic but again we'll discuss that in later sessions now the second part is algorithm or diagrams any sequence of events which can easily be expressed in the form of a flow chart so the second part of your answer should be algorithms or flow chart and again Diagrams forms an inevitable part, especially in orthopedics. So, the algorithms or diagrams forms the second one. And finally, the third one. Whenever you hear some topic, some heading, like we discussed once, spontylolysthesis, I told you, whenever you hear spontylolysthesis, the first thing that should come to your mind is a Scottish terrier, that puppy, Scottish terrier, the Scottish terrier sign. So, like that, every examiner will expect those key words in all those topics being asked in the exam. So, all the examiners will be instructed about certain points from the, that should be expected from a candidate. So, some 3, 4, maybe 4, 5 points and each point will be awarded some 20 percentage of marks. So, if you have that point in your answer paper and if you can highlight that point, so that's what I told you, a clever student anticipates the examiner's questions. If you can highlight that point, what the examiner expects from you, then, then the job becomes easy, right? So the third part forms the buzzwords. Now, if your answer paper, your answers are in this structured format with all those subheadings along with some algorithms or flowcharts, including diagrams and highlighting all those buzzwords makes it complete and you should be well enough to acquire some good amount of precious marks. Okay. So here we go. Let us discuss topic one by one in the upcoming sessions. Thank you. Document.